Hey everyone. Hello. To your favorite Yo. pod. Oh Sorry. man, TK hosting today? Oh, let's do it. He's got some hot right, takes let's today. Go. So this this uh episode was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends and Raid We, wish. we, we wish. wish. Come Please sponsor, sponsor us. us. Hit us you up. How funny it would be a few like years down the line or months down the line and we get sponsored by Raid. And it would <laughs> and it would no longer be memeing about it. It would be genuine like plug. When you meme is every episode I'm gonna begin with a sponsor and hopefully it'll be real someday. We're not sponsored though. Just wanna clarify. We're not at all sponsored. We wish. True. Um but no, I just wanted to say today we're gonna be talking about uh Don Machi, Jujutsu Kaisen, and uh some random things such as um a scene from Uzaki chan how we feel about certain meme groups and shows that are coming up and you know more hot takes as usual so yeah if you're interested in those topics listen if you don't want spoilers also don't listen we'll and, we'll uh we'll let you know oh that's a big one yes, we'll, spoiler let you, alert. we'll let you know what we're spoiling before we do spoiling. yeah for each topic but just know those are the topics we're going into now i'm gonna briefly the touch so we're gonna talk about don machi today the latest season season three and we're on episode what four three or four i think we're on four four so we're gonna be talking up to episode four we've talked for a little bit about it previously but we're gonna discuss it today and before like i obviously go into anything um what happened this episode? five is episode oh, five. We're five sorry we're going to episode five and since um Moose and Mo have seen it more recently than me. I think they should take it away on what just happened in this la- in the last two episodes and um, what they thought about it. About <laughs> okay, start start I guess with summarizing what happened. Whoever wants to go for it, Moose, you want to give it a uh, shot? Yeah, yeah. So, episode five was. Basically, the the monster group. Don't forget about four. Uh, I don't think we talked about four <clears throat> last pod. Four, nothing. I forget what happens in four. They, 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 they go, like, down they to the go to the they go to Zenos, yeah. and then they drop off. Or yeah, they get the mission to drop Wiene off at the village, and they so basically them. they meet them. They hang out. They're like, yo, what's up? And they're like, yo, you think we can coexist? And it's that looking being, pretty good. Uh, dungeon monsters who can talk and have intelligence that are hosted by Uranos and by the guild in the show, by the way. Yeah. And then, but, like, while that's all going on, you can see there's, like, a group of these monsters that are, like, nah, humans are garbage. So you can see there's some challenges in the coexistence between the two groups. And the episode ends by they basically Wiener has to go with the monster groups while did you, did you guys like the three um the cut when she's being put, walked away, it's like three stills of them walking away from the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, you gotta save your budget where you can That's, for real. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like they have to save the budget somewhere. <laughs> Um, yeah, and basically <clears throat> the episode ends, it's like a cliffhanger where basically there's like, I, f- I forget the family's name. Uh, but... The family? Ganesha? Or... No, 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 the, uh, the, the pe- no, the people who are attacking. I know, I know the uh, main dude's name is Dix, right? Yeah. Dix, yeah. It's like, uh... starts with an I or something. Ikelos? Ikelos family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that, I'll check it. Uh, Ikelos family. Just checking. Yeah. That, that's right. Yeah, so basically they set up a trap and they lure in a couple of the monsters with Wiene and looks like it's going to be a fight. So episode 5 picks up right at that scene. Um... Uh, Dix just like dominates and like kills like a bunch of the monsters and takes Wiene captive. And 
in retaliation, the monsters who are like, we can't coexist are like, see, we can't coexist. Mm. And like they attack one of the dungeon villages of like humans trying to find Wiene and get her back. So this sets off an alarm at the upper world. And basically up there, they're like, no one can go in the dungeon except for one family. To the Orhinos, it's like, okay, we could send like people who know what's going on. And they, they like uh, hide Bell in there. So basically, that was like the whole episode. Don't forget about Ainz. Oh, he did meet up with Ainz. Was and that? He was like, "Can we? Can we coexist?" And then she was like, "No." <laughs> yeah. What did you think, Mo, about the whole thing? Now, like, what your feelings about episode the last episode? What you like? You know, everything, whatever you liked. Let's see, and this is just anime. Episode progression 101, this is a setup episode. So I can't mm-hmm. harbor any good or bad feelings about it. It's just one of those episodes that is going to segue to something either really amazing or really disappointing. And so that's why I reserve any ratings for this episode because I'm expecting exciting things. So yeah. I'll rate this episode based off of the next episode's progression, and if it actually does hype up to be something amazing, then this episode definitely deserves it. Otherwise, if they set up everything as it was now, um, then it's kind of disappointing. <clears throat> I'm interested to hear your opinion, TK. There's something that you said prior to this podcast that was... It's very specific. It's like, that's why I think you'll agree with me. Like, it's not about the overarching thing of the sh- I think the plot's fine, and like you said, it's set up. Yeah. It's one thing that I have such a oh, specific Oh, can I guess? For. Please do. Is it something to do with that spider scene where they're like... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay. It's not that. Basically, I feel like in this episode, and what they do is they're like, let's take Belle and take the other characters. And for the meaning of the scene, like the main characters, let's put their IQ bar and just drag it down to make Belle the <laughs> smartest person. Who makes the most sense what? first of all let's see what happened right like i think in the beginning the monster attack and everything was pretty crazy right yeah what happens when they're like i wonder what happened to bell we know he went into the dungeon and now there's this huge attack that happened also i wonder what bell's doing there and there was also this call to arms gets a letter from the guild saying that Bell's down, been ordered down there, and then they're like, what? Bell's still in the dungeon doing stuff when the last place we know he <laughs> went was going to the dungeon to see the monsters who are now attacking because we know that it's them? Uh, oh, well, they, didn't, they didn't know that, though. <clears throat> well, no, they, saw, they got the news. They were like, I wonder what happened. Last time Bell went was to the dungeon. And they get the news that Bell's in the dungeon for that. And they're like, that's crazy that Bell's in the dungeon when this is happening. When they literally knew that he went to the dungeon. Yeah, but there's no way he could... That's like floor 18. There's no way he could get down there himself. Yeah. Well, they, they, they went they, to go visit them. He was going to the no, dungeon. He, he said he was just going to the dungeon. Yeah, he, he said he was going to the dungeon to see them. Not to see them. He was just no. going to the dungeon. I think you're mistaking a scene. So there was a scene where he was fighting off one of those creatures and having this internal, like, monologue. I think he was just, like, solo training. Yeah. He was... He was solo training, but I thought it was the intention of going to see... Because he was saying about Wienerkun. No, but I mean, my talk is just, like, why did they think, like, he went to the dungeon, he hasn't come back, and then this has happened and they're shocked that he's in the dungeon? No, he did come back. So there was... Yeah, they never saw him. That's I'm saying, like, they never saw him, though. Like, I he think, never returned to the mansion. I think they might have. I don't think they showed it in the episode, but there's definitely a clear distinction between him going soloing, then him getting out, and then him going to the guild hall, then him being requested to go back in. Well, then, Yeah, the, the, he, like, got out, and he had this whole conversation with eyes. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. the bell rang, he ran to the guild to see what was going on. And then from Wait, there, he, he got directly... Okay, yeah. And then, okay, well, then from the... 
Yeah. Yeah. From the guild, he gets directly sent to Arenas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got that. I thought that was fine. That made sense. Okay, so then let's just say that that all happened, right? And obviously, then that makes sense that that like tracked. With Ains, what I didn't like, right, is when he talked to her about the coexistence. I think what she said in the end made sense, which she was like, no, uh, I'll kill them. But her reasoning was like, <laughs> her reasoning was more than just like, no, monsters kill humans, therefore I'm going to kill them. She was just like, you know what? Even if a monster makes someone cry, I'll kill them. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like just but she doesn't crying. know. She's yeah, like, but I was like, she could have, did she? But like, it felt like such an unnecessary thing to go to the point where it was like, Nadi was like, oh no, monsters kill people, so I'll kill them. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. They terrify people. It's like, if someone cries because of a monster, they're dead to me. I'm murdered. I'm like, they could have just left at the thing before. Like, there was no, like, if she not doesn't think of them as anything, like, they didn't even need that distinction of emotion. Like, mm. I'm looking into it pretty deep, I'd say, when I'm looking into it. But I just felt like it was kind of ridiculous that Bell suddenly mm. seemed like the, suddenly the most, like, ethically right, more than ethically right, like, highest IQ of the groups. So without understanding what's happening, he, like, kind of understood. Well, let me bring well, up... he's the, seen but, talking monsters. No one else has seen them. No, no, no. Yeah. Not, like, 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 not that. But, like, when they're assessing the situation, Bell's like, I understand more than, like, what he needs to do. Like the dilemmas like Ayn's doesn't even like it makes sense she doesn't even question it i think she would question his thing on it and also it makes sense that she would disagree with him and i mean also, there's that whole scene with um yeah. everyone like it was like individual guilt and they're all like something is happening this is yeah. normal so like, i i think they do know it's they just they just haven't seen it for themselves yet but then also with the family, like Bell's family, like the, the like the uh, it's a Minerva, Minerva and them. I don't know, man. I feel like in the last season they're much more like on top of stuff. But now it's like Bell is the only one on top of stuff, and like they're just like even though they know the situation, like I didn't they don't know the situation I mean, though. I, I dig. I disagree with you, uh, TK. Yeah. That um, was a good save. I just Sorry, say, I added out, I added all the names out in post. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> we know who doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get professional. Uh, but go. the way I see the show <laughs> is that they it it always paints Bell as the super high IQ. That's what he I don't like. Chosen one. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. just the show in itself. Like, no matter what, he's always characterized as that. And that's what I've seen in season one, season two, season three. The only difference is that each prior season had an emphasis on another side character as a main object. Meaning, like, if we look at Lily, she had her moment in season two because she had that, like, owner. Um, yeah, I mean, her character. guild issues. Yeah, her guild issues. So that's why you're like, oh, she was a bit more woke in that sense. But in this well, case, yeah. there's literally no introduction or no no dynamic between the side characters, except for the fact that they're there. Um, that's what I don't like. That there's like I understand like you're saying it's the background, but usually like even in those scenarios, right? Like Wolf or one of the others, more than having a supporting role, right? Like now that they all have the background info. They yeah. have a way of proceeding, but it really seems like it's just Bell on his own right now. See, I, I, I agree, but I think there are only certain only certain amount of animes that can achieve that. And mm -hmm. not a lot of animes can do that, especially not isekais. Isekais always follow this, and this is just my minor hot take, is that it's isekais fine. yeah can only follow a pro tag and then a harem. It can't go yeah, dynamically to different like characters. I'm like Trying to find an example, like do our run. No, no, I, I get what you're saying. I just yeah. think, like, you know, they do Hermes though well. I mean, his family's been following it, which makes sense. Yeah. I just feel like, you know, it's like, I mean, like you said, it's set up, but I'm like, the setup I'm seeing right now in my mind looks like it's going in a bad way more than like a good way. I can't tell for sure, but at least in yeah. my mind, based on how things are going. Also, I definitely ag agree, um, Moose. You know how you keep always saying, do, can, can they coexist? I, I wanted to tell you from the beginning Dude. of this episode, I was like, you know, I'm starting to think they can't coexist. <laughs> okay, I don't I'm, know, man. Like, 
I it's, like that Ganesha has a mask awesome. of an elephant, by the way. He isn't yeah, just right. part elephant to keep the, you know, but. Okay, what what triggers me the most, and this is like the scene that I'm like, this is absolutely ridiculous to me. They're talking about like monsters, oh, monsters, oh. Yeah. And then you literally see these three scumbags going up to a spider and they're like, oh, hey, hey, girl. Yeah, that like, seems oh. weird. I'm like, okay, like this is absolutely unnecessary. But you're also hitting on the point that they can coexist if they're looking at them that I'm way. Dead. That's kind of true. I didn't think of that. But I mean, that I expect that kind of scene from this show. I mean, they've done that. Like last season, they did that with Belle being scared that he was literally going to be sexually harassed by that girl. Yeah. The, the, the budget Dora. Was <laughs> <laughs> Wait, budget Dora? Look at her haircut, man. Oh. <laughs> I know, exactly who, I, exactly, no, I know okay. exactly who you're talking uh, about. What's the name? Uh, um, I'm going to find it. She's like, oh, I know, really, I know who you're talking about. I, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I, yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. Can that be the, the thumbnail to this? <laughs> no, please, no. <laughs> no. Budget too scary. Our viewers will be too, that's too scary for our viewers. It may yeah, be spooky right. season, but. It's a trigger warning. I understand. Uh, I under completely understood why Bell cried and was like, "My God, thank you for saving me." Hundred yeah, like, percent. Right. It was dark. I, I think I talked to uh, Moose about it, and I was like, "That was pretty messed up." <laughs> I was like, "I mean, the whole like th- this is where I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm drawing a line, but I'm like, if you want to incorporate NSFW content, do it, but tastefully. Like, I don't understand where it could progress." given some NSFW content, and I'm pretty sure that's just, like, an anime problem I mean, as a whole. That's where, it, for me, it's, like, it needs to all kind of follow. Like, you can't choose to choose different things from different directions. Yeah. Like, you know? Like, that's what I feel like. I feel like the like the logic in the last season is a little bit missing in this one. Yeah. Like, in the in the um, Red, the red uh, District, the uh, Red Lantern District, whatever, that area with the whole prostitution ring like yeah. what the logic there not like the scenes after with the like lily's backstory but where it was like unknown stuff i feel like a little of it was missing this episode yeah i mean contextually it's the monster stuff was really good like the, monster um, st- the yeah. attack like their logic of what's gonna happen like i thought all of it was fine it's just the dynamics with some of the characters along with nsfw stuff that i was like this doesn't i don't know it didn't feel like the same do you think it's because they're introducing way too many factors for them to balance well? Because they have currently they're focusing Aradis a lot and on Hestia. Hermes entering yeah. and Ganesha's family entering, and I feel like then they're like that's why I feel like the whole IQ bar thing is like where they're like okay, so we're gonna in order for this we need to make them so confused that they're not gonna have that much of a role here, so we yeah. need them to be more confused almost. No, it's sense. really the meta gaming of anime is what I'm doing. Yeah, I feel like it's interesting because, like, you know, in the end, they're all going to interlap with one another. Like, they're all going to come together in, like, one super... We don't know that. You don't think so? I don't know if they're going to coexist. I have to agree with Oh, I mean, oh, sorry. I don't mean, like, coexist. Oh, you mean, mean, like, Hermes? Yeah, Hermes is going to... Hermes' path is going to meet with Hestia's path, which is going to meet with Hephaestus' path, which is going to meet with Uranus' path. See, I feel like they're only going to... At this point, they're only going to come all the way at the end and be like, are you okay? And support role, like really support role. Yeah, but role. there's gonna be like two episodes at the end where they're all gonna fight, fight it out, and then you know. But I feel, happy yeah, I feel like the Hestia family won't even like, like they're just gonna come in and like, oh, we're supporting and we're OP now. Yeah, and that's where I'm like, I'd rather just have them come in at least halfway through, you know. I see. Like, no, why would they? Think, why would they have more of a supporting role compared to some of the other families, other than Hermes, because Hermes has been on this case for a while. Yeah when they have the most fresh knowledge and Hestia actually has the most knowledge now after talking to her, you know, it's like multiple times. I don't know. I wish I could see more of Hestia involved. I think currently it's saying. like, she's basically like a, like a knowledge sponge and is doing nothing about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That That's my issue. I guess yeah. that's where like my peeve with this, like, I'm like, what? I'm like, no, that's fair. Fair. How fair. could Bell know what to do more right now? Like yeah. he's a pro tag, it makes sense, but also like usually Hestia's like, okay, well, remember like with the last arc, she like knew what she had to do behind the scenes at least. True. To support. And sure, this is new territory for her, but like 
I don't know. I guess that's just my thing, though. I mean, what did you think, Moose, in general? I think you, you overall liked it. And, like, I liked and it, yeah. I liked the yeah. episode. Do you like it as much as the week before's? Yeah. Okay. I think the, all the monster stuff was good. Like, the attack. It was messed up, man. The harpy chain up. I was like, wow. I thought it was also yeah. the same harpy. I thought it was the same. I'm like, surprised they... Um, well, I guess I don't know if I should be surprised. They yeah. killed that entire group, so... I didn't know. I was, if... I was mm. that's when I was like, I was like, I remember what Moose was saying. I was like, maybe they can't coexist. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. Either, you know, they oh, it's a failed experiment for Reynos at the end, which would be a really dark ending, or they set up an embassy, a UN. <laughs> oh, imagine that. You know what's going to happen? Or like Ganesha. I don't know. I don't know. What's going to be struggling is that. I kind of want like a darker but like lighter ending where it's like they're they're able to be out but not necessarily in the space. Die. Like they're maybe kicked out of the region but they're still able to like go outside. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like they they can't live in the town yeah, they can't. Per se, but they venture off. Yeah. To create the civilization. That'd be so, pretty nice. That'd be interesting. I like that. I like that idea. Like well, that, then they come back later, maybe seasons later. Do you Big think war. they're going to get more seasons than like the third? Mm, I don't know, man. We'll have to see. I feel like some of the characters will, like some of the monsters, and the rest will be made into mob creatures that are behind them, you know? Yeah, fair. I don't know. Um, I wasn't even expecting it to get two or three. So, what do you mean? seasons of the show. Oh, true. So That's like it's still going. It, 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 the the side story got an ad up anime. So like it's popular. Yeah, I, I'm surprised. I'm not saying it's bad, but just like I mean, yeah, I remember watching this in like what was it twenty like twenty came out thirteen fourteen yeah wow that old oh yeah season so one was, yeah I mean I was so shocked when this that next arc came out because I was like oh my god I was like it's been so long I actually thought this was just a one and done like you know one season yeah, yeah. that's why I thought too and now we got a second and then a third immediately like honestly I mean I'm I'm pretty happy like I actually it's the show's enjoyable yeah but Take yeah you know, that's my worry I think that's why I'm so like harsh on this episode because I'm like do not do not fail me set up I'm like don't make this boring. I feel that. Speaking about boring. Oh, let's try Have you guys in. watched Jujutsu Kaisen? Dude, we watched it together. <laughs> uh, I told you, it's just entertaining. It's nothing like crazy. It's shonen. It's the definition of shonen. There's so many. Okay. Um, I would like you guys to start this. Let's let's get this right out the bat. Um. It's so, Blue Exorcist Naruto, yeah. And, no, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. New Hawker show. Take take the take the punchline, but I'm just saying TK came up to us, and oh, yeah. through this recommendation, this is just this is not even anime really. This is just a backstory to us three. Oh yeah. So TK came up. He's like, "Yo, got this great show for you. Throw no, no, the no, opening. No, no, throw no, the no, ending no. at us." And he's like, "Check it out." No, no, no. no. This and, is what I said. You're partially you're. I said it has a fantastic opening, great animation. Okay. It's entertaining. I said it's very, it's like not anything crazy though. All right. So, although I did really like the last two episodes. Yeah, that's fair. So, point is, uh, Moose and I sit down. Okay, this is spoilers. spoilers oh, like yeah, we're uh, talking from episode, episode, episode four. One to four. One yeah, to yep. four. So, we sit down and suddenly we see uh, Naruto over there. Uh, <laughs> And just some, uh, I feel like there's a better, yeah, yeah, Naruto, though. Naruto, see. and just some finger, uh, meet Sasuke after Sasuke's oh, okay. like, You got yeah. the curse, right? And he's like, Yo, dog, no, you got this finger over here. Segue to, uh, I don't know, Exorcist, where a demon comes out of nowhere and starts fighting. Oh, okay. And then suddenly Sasuke is like, Yo, run away, protect yourself. And he's like, Nah, dude, I got this finger over here. <laughs> Q Q Q B scene where he becomes literally Kurama and Kurama comes in, kicks some ass, and he's like, Oh, I will uh, try to take over the world though. And then Kakashi Sensei comes in, it's like, not today, oh, yeah. bro. 
<laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. This is just yeah, episode it's all one. right. Like all, so far, everything is. You you meant yeah. I know you said he ate the finger. Yeah, he ate the finger. What are these um, Snickers more? <laughs> you're you're not yourself when you're hungry. Turns to demon. But like the opposite, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's the it's the inverse Snickers. <laughs> it's how you feel after eating five gum. <laughs> <laughs> all right, episode two. Uh, Kakashi Sensei goes up to Naruto. Is like, yo, you got the QB in you. We can't allow you to live unless, unless you, you sign this application me. to join this school that we got going on. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'll do it, dude. It's better than dying right now. But he's like, oh, you're still going to die, though. But just later. And he's like, dang, OK. And then segue to them getting their third member of Team 7, which is Sakura, just slightly more useful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah. <laughs> but she's still the same kind of like, ugh. You guys are so annoying. Without the fangirling over. Yeah, something. without the fangirling. Uh, it makes, honestly, it makes it better. Like It does make it better. It, I, I definitely appreciate the dynamic more now that she's not like fawning over either of them. Was she um, fawning over either of them? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I was like, did I miss something? Okay. Well, she definitely wasn't. But I don't want to get into like every detail, but point yeah. is Team 7 has their... Uh, test they pass um they go through a trial in episode three where they meet a super they super go to big prison. Daddy, yeah um which triggers Kurama to come back to life i'm just gonna keep this they almost die. yeah he yeah um uh, what's his name what's the actual main character's name dude i keep forgetting it honestly yeah, I, I don't know but point is main character quote unquote yeah, dies that. And now we're left with the progression to a... Oh, Yuji Itadori. Oh, Itadori. Yeah, Itadori. It's like, yeah. kind of dies, but we know it's not necessarily true. Nah, it's a Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah. 100%. And let me see. What's the last scene of episode The last four? scene is that a dude who's talking to, like, some demons or something. Who I guess he's, like, not good. I thought he was, like, good... But then he was saying like how like you need to um you need to get him to their side and you need to like incapacitate the oh, yeah. you need to basically make him unable to fight. Yeah. We basically also got to the moose. What do we call it? Where basically school v school tournament. We got the tournament arc oh, coming yeah. up. Tournament arc. Arc. Yeah. Um you got the tournament arc coming along. The tuning exams. <laughs> Literally, the tuning exam. Literally, um, we also got discussion between Itadori and Kurama inside his heart. Also, Sukuna fighting Fuji Fujishiro. Yeah. Um, yeah. But is there anything I missed? I, I mean, whole... like it, I think skimming through the overview, like yeah, they went to the prison recently. They fought. They almost died. He had to resort to Sukuna. The other two escaped. They got out of there alive, and they got the finger. But yeah, it was it was also a higher up play where the higher ups put them on a mission that they weren't really like. That was clearly like bad. A setup. It was a setup because they were pissed at Gojo Sensei. Yeah, Senpai. I agree. But you guys didn't like it. No, we like. I like it. <laughs> what did I say during this last episode? I forget what scene it was at. <laughs> what did you wait? What I'm trying to remember? When it was like, this is such a TK show. Oh, that's right. That's why. <laughs> why? Ah, uh, it was a specific scene where he said it. Was it? Was it with Fushiguro versus Sukuna when they were fighting, or with the oh, panda? Oh, was it? It was like the I never give up. No fucking way. No. <laughs> And he did the 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 shadow, the shadow. Symbol. Yeah, he was like it was so like philosophical. Megumi? Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I love like, that. That was my favorite part. One hundred percent. I was like, such a TK show. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was really my favorite part. I was like, oh my god! It was that literally, was like, that scene. No, you're one hundred percent correct. <laughs> Dude, it was so good. They fought, and then he was like, "I'm about to die." Oh wait. And then he got some origin, a little origin, and learned that his name is Megami. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. And he was like, "Yo, my dad sucks." <laughs> and he was like, like, oh, I love that. Yeah, hundred percent. Sukuno is interested in him. I thought that was cool. Like, he's my favorite character for sure. Sukuno is the. Demon, Not right? the hero is my favorite, but yeah, Sukuno is really interesting. I mean, it's interesting. Okay, I enjoyed the show. But I, I'm heavily disappointed that it's one of the most popular this season. Well, it's well, I, well, people love the manga, which is the reason. And so that means it's how it develops later on, you know? Yeah, but is that the same token as Boruto right now? Absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I know you haven't watched the show, the fact that you can say that. Like, yeah, I haven't actually watched the show. My God. Either. Again, three fourths of that show is filler. Jeez. The first season's canon? Is the second season canon, Moose? No. There's okay. like barely any canon. So the first season and then the stuff from the movie. Oh, that's it? That, the opening, did you watch? You just watched the opening. Yeah, I did right? watch the opening. That was, that was kind of The sad. spills, the literal paint. I was the like made in paint. Did you, his yeah. back look? I never get over it. I'll never they had forget such walking a big that. budget for it, and yet they flopped on that opening. I'll never forget looking at Moose and sh- like we, we. I remember we were both watching. We it. watched it to get. Well, I used to. I used to put on Boruto every Sunday. <laughs> Unbelievable! He would make sure I was there too. Oh wow! Did you. You hit it well. Are you transitioning? Was not in Gridman. <laughs> True. You for the Gridman sequel. Dude, I can't believe. Honestly, I'm a little excited. I won't lie, because it's gonna be different. So, but yeah, let's transition back to jujitsu. So, okay, it's a it's a good, it's entertaining. It's a good yeah. show. Yeah, it's a good show. Oh. It, it's like like I said, you know, it's like don't expect anything crazy, but it's like it's enjoyable. The dynamic between the three is what I wanted from the dynamic and got a high school, but like enjoy it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, <laughs> Did you, what do you think of the second year students this episode? Panda. Do Panda. I like so, the well, Panda. Of, I feel like they're never going to explain Panda to like way later, which I'm True. kind of happy about. It's pretty funny. What about the guy's name like, is Salmon? Oh, the guy who only speaks in um, Onigiri Great. recipe yeah. terms. It's pretty cool. So he's cursed. Like his curse thing is that his language or how he speaks. So I'm wondering yeah. how he fights. True. I'm wondering how they're going to fight during the tournament, you know? Like, all their moves are kind of to kill, right? So like, <laughs> <laughs> non-lethal. Yeah, right. I'm like, they're just gonna be like, all right, non-lethal. It's the same way they do in Naruto. Like, you imagine fly Fushi- unconscious. Yeah. Fushiguro is just like summoning the like the animals, and they're just like, you're summoning us to, for your stupid school tournament. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon. <laughs> Literally. But True. Yeah, so. I like the girl character Maki. She's just like, why do you guys look so down? <laughs> and they're like, yo, someone died. Did we not tell you? And she's like, what the hell? She's like, I look like yeah, such a true. Kid. I like the expansion. Like, we're learning new characters and all of that. Yeah, I agree. I definitely like it. I'm glad that they introduced Panda earlier on because I was super confused by him in the opening. I wonder who's the third year or if, like, or just the only one true yeah so it seems like gojo's the strongest also like in the world oh kakashi yeah kakashi like is like, that's what it seems like they were saying i mean that's kind of true stronger, but be like, interesting to see what's stronger his than the principal and like all the higher ups and does that mean like other schools too you know potentially but i think they're definitely not gonna try to paint that yet as him being the strongest like they're gonna have to try to showcase like other strong characters. Throughout. Yeah, right. Maybe it's just he's like the most popular. True. I like his character a lot. He's just like I want to be a good senpai. And I like that also. His alliance is mainly like towards like he's like okay. He's like I'm so pissed. He's like I'll kill them all. <laughs> True. But I wonder, Did like, I... if they're gonna intro- like, they're definitely gonna have an episode where they're gonna talk about like where he's come from. Mm-hmm. Cause like right now his blindfold is like okay, make him more like I like, understand it, like make it interesting, but like they gotta explain that. Did I um 
what did you think moose of characters and stuff in general just like no real opinions it's like um i don't happy? really i don't really like the characters Oof. <laughs> I guess I kind of get you like the main. The main dude's like, I don't like him. I like that I we like remember the... Sukuna's name more than his. I think that says something. <laughs> yeah. I don't. The teacher is the coolest one by far. The principal? Not oh. the principal. The Kakashi. Oh yeah. I I agree. I don't like the main character really that much. Like I like all yeah. the other characters more. But you, you don't like most of them. You like uh the you like Kakashi though. Yeah. <laughs> what about the principal? I mean, we've only saw him once. We've only seen him for that one scene. He was okay. I'm confused by the um, you know, the guy who is helping them to the prison site and he's like assisting them, like his what he is, like his. Mm-hmm. He just looks like just a worker or something. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the other students would be cooler. I mean, what do you think so. about the second year that we just met? Like, you know, like first impressions, or not really? Like, not really. Mm. All right. It's okay. I'm sure they'll get a wally in there somewhere. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's... No, no, it makes sense. It was lacking. I feel like there won't be any lollies in the shows, but yeah. Yeah. They don't really. Um, like it, I, I, I guess I like how, like, like you were saying, the things that like made it such a me scene, the Megami thing, like how vain they are. Yeah. And I was like, cool, cool. I don't, but I, I definitely right now, I actually kind of agree with you. Well, the first, I think the main character is like the least interesting, to be honest. <laughs> like I'm actually yeah. significantly more interested in Sukuna, but um, I guess it's. Weird. I feel like the monsters are more interesting than them. That's true. That's true. I was definitely like really interested. Like remember the scene where they're in the prison and the things there and they just can't move and then just like, right yeah. like whoa. Yeah. Edgy. I don't know. I don't know if this is like something that they're just trying to make the main character worth the main character, but they always give him this like Believe great it? deal of ambition and they give him this great deal of like power and strength and like all these like nifty traits just to make him like like main character material, but it would have been really interesting if he wasn't super strong, super fast, super confident to like save his friends. Like in that first episode where he tried to save his friends, he's like, I got to do it for grandpa. And I'm like, what happens if he just completely chickened out? Like interesting. How, like that would make him at least slightly more interesting. Cause it'd be like, okay, maybe he needs to work through that. Hmm. Which is kind of like why some shows I watch, like, I guess it's kind of like, mm, it's kind of like Mob Psycho, where like Mob himself is like very tame about his powers. He's not like super main character, which makes him interesting as a main character. Oh, also- yeah. That's right. My I had my theories too. I forgot. Um, I was thinking like that, um, you know, like how he eats like the Sukuna fingers. I was like, is he really the only one that's been able to do that? Like, could there like maybe one of the characters we saw in the opening be one of them that's done that? Except it's like, you know, like there's multiple versions of him he's split apart and then that's going to be the antagonist. Potential. Or, yeah. Also, like, is he, is it going to be like Yu Yu Hakusho where it's like, oh, I'm sorry if you haven't watched Yu Yu Hakusho, but... Also, you should have watched already, so, like, sorry for the spoilers, but basically, like, we find out... I've never seen it. You've never seen it? No. Oh, my God. No, I can't say it without the... Okay. Let me see. I was going to say... Wait, what? To be honest, I... Oh, are you talking about... Oh. Yeah, I've never watched it. Are you talking about Ghost Files? (laughs) Yeah, you have to show you the files. Oh, yeah. That looks so old. It's so good. It's such a classic. It's a classic. You're in the minority here. It's a classic. Like I don't know. Like I remember. Um, 
two of our friends. The only were, classic I need is a Ramo. <laughs> this is older than that. <laughs> this is like sure, BBG. You sure um, you want to keep that keep that on video on recording? <laughs> yeah, like that's the worst thing. <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho was voted as the second best anime of the year in 1993. Oh, and yeah. Best anime of the year in 1994 and oh, 1995. Yeah. I, used to, I grew up on it, like through Toonami. used to show up. And then remember, I only watched it way later where I finished like the ending part because I've only seen up to the Dark Tournament arc. I mean, do, are, do you care about spoilers? Yeah, I don't know. If you care about spoilers. I mean, we won't get the reference. Yeah. I guess won't. so. So basically, what if, like, this dude, right? What if um, Itadori, he's, like, ancestry or whatever, she either, pro- like, shows him as a descendant of Sukuna for some reason, which is why he can, like, he is how he is. And, so he's, like, like, the great, 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 great grandson of that guy? Yeah. Because, like, for instance, there's a thing where it's, like, basically, it's, like, the resurrection or showing of the power only happens after a certain, like, through the uh, lineage. Oh. And it's, like, a very rare occurrence. But at least in this case, because Sukuna is, like, the OG whatever, like, that's how it happens. Like, he fell in love with a woman or whatever. Because apparently it seems like he wasn't originally evil, so. Yeah, he feel like he was, like, wasn't he a jujitsu user that exactly. got into exactly. it? Yeah. I mean, that'd be interesting. But you know this this show. So the manga started in 2017, so it's pretty you know recent. Yeah, it's only and like as of, as of now, it's had 10 million copies. Wow. Yeah, so it's very popular, which is why I think people are really excited. I'm definitely. Ex- mm. I'm not. I, I guess, guess it's. Like, I'm just gonna watch it and see how it. Yeah. Plays. It's that's exactly. It's like how I feel watching Fire Force. You know, I'm happy if there's something good, but and I'm also like, except at least it hasn't done anything like Fire Force has to deter me. Yeah, true. You're not yeah. a big fan of some of the scenes. Yep. 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 Cool. Are we gonna move on to our last yeah. segment of the podcast? It's called yeah. No Is Wrong. <laughs> Cue the music. Welcome to I'm Surrounded by Idiots segment. Yeah, that's All both right. of us, but you're the only so... one. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no uh, way. I reverse Uno'd you. Why? So Mo and I have been watching this show. <laughs> um, um, Uzaki-chan that... wants to hang out. And first of all, <laughs> Let me say that Uzaki-chan, watching an episode is like going into like the time chamber from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> when time starts, when time stops. It. Like, I I I'll, I don't. I like the show. I enjoy okay. it. I pay attention. Yeah. I'm engaged. Yeah. But time is, there's no time. Like you feel, it feels really slow. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Like we'll watch one episode and I'll be like, I've aged a month. (laughs) Is that, is that show that it's really imparting wisdom onto you? Making you think, you know? I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't think that's true for (laughs) Zaki-chan. I, I, yeah. (sighs) I don't know what it is. I think it's like that one part and that's what deters me because I'm just like, man, why did this much time feel like so much longer? <laughs> it's... But um, that, that, that was a side thing. Yeah. The main thing is we were watching an episode a week or two ago and basically Uzaki is eating choco mint. So it's like mint Mint chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, like a candy. And then... Is that ice cream or candy? uh, It was a candy. Oh, okay. And um, what's her senpai's name? Uh, uh, Sazaki. Yeah, yeah, Sazaki. Sazaki, yeah. 
Suzaki. Yes, Suzaki. He's like, oh, that's Choco Mint. And she's like, do you like it? And No, or he goes like, doesn't that oh. like taste like toothpaste? Oh. And then we get the um the monologue of a generation. It was it was on its best scene. Fantastic scene. Uh, he starts no, off no. with a banger. People who say chocolate choco mint tastes like toothpaste has never tried choco mint. Damn. I, I d- Which is true. I disagree. I I still disagree a hundred percent. She is literally talking misinformation. She is misrepresenting taste buds. She is spreading false news. And I've had it. The show was a was a nine ten for me before that episode. Now it's a straight three to four. What was it before? Nine ten. It well, went from like a nine ten for me to like an eleven. <laughs> that episode made me think maybe it's worth watching. I disagree. And let me just address with my colleague Sam Stryker in this article titled "I'm sorry to tell you that mint chocolate chip ice cream is gross." Don't ask about what new source I'm picking because that's yeah. I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> just let me. Let me let me just read this to make sure that he's not memeing. Yeah, that's right. You need to check your sources, huh? Sounds like a really good defense. <laughs> if I wanted want to, to eat out. something yeah. that tasted like frozen toothpaste, I'd stick a tube in the freezer and go to town. But ice cream that tastes like toothpaste, no thanks. Let's get one more thing straight. Mint is not a gross flavor. It's used for gum and toothpaste and mouthwash and anything else that is used to freshen your breath. But as a dessert, you crazy. What about drinks? People have mint and drinks all the time. That's no dessert. Yep. But drinks are not dessert. They're not. Yeah. But like, you have sweet, like mint lemonade. Exactly. That's not dessert. No one drinks as a dessert. That's like a sweet drink. But it's, I don't know. So, so, what, so is there, you're saying there's not an issue there, though? Yeah, okay, mint is not, nothing wrong with mint. It's just mint chocolate. Mint and chocolate together is not a pleasant Oh, flavor. it's such a good combination. It's such it a is, good combination. It's not a good combination. Why is it not a good, you like chocolate and you like mint. Why yeah. don't you like them together? I like peanut butter and I also like lemon. I'm not going to combine the two and make it a good flavor. Like, those two don't work. You said mint and lemon? No, I said peanut butter and lemon. Sorry. I was like, yeah, it's... but but mint and chocolate do, so like. Yeah. Like... No, no. It's, it's, <laughs> we it's, got it. it's, it's, There's something. You don't want a bitter taste followed by something that's fresh. It's like the bitter chocolate complements something that is rich, like coffee. <laughs> coffee and chocolate work really well hand in hand. Can one enhances the flavor of the other? I so don't want to get slapped in the right face. Answer. Hmm? You're saying there's only one right answer, a combination of flavors. I'm not saying there's one right combination, but I'm saying there's a certain amount of combinations that work. The rest do not. I want you to try mint chocolate chip, and I want you to try peanut peanut lemonade lemon, like you said, peanut butter lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and then, wait, how am I gonna mix it? Do I do a peanut butter and lemonade sandwich, or do man, I do a lemonade I don't know, peanut butter that, lemonade? That's on you. You have to figure that. There. But I mean, couldn't don't people do? Like strawberry jam and different jams. Isn't there lemon jam? I guess I wouldn't know how that would work. Yeah. That's fair. But also, I just want to point out that it's not just Uzaki. That whole studio basically, author, and that decided that this was the case. Yeah, but... It had that money and those projections backing it up that it did so well in Japan and here. You it's, know... so, it's so nice having that cool, light taste with like. The intensity of chocolate. Absolutely. And it's not even too much, right? Like, it's not like a huge thing of chocolate. It's like just little bits and pieces to break the flavor so you don't get too tired of the mint. Okay. The back and forth. 
but the more you talk about it, the more it just sounds so disgusting. <laughs> I can't I'm believe trying to, like, I'm trying to from. deep dive now. I'm trying to think. So I have okay, so I have a like an I have a big issue with mint chocolate ice cream. But I have less, but still a big issue with mint chocolate itself. So like mint chocolate ice cream, so you're combining milk, something that is like creamy and rich with mint that's refreshing. But you're like, oh, wait, hold on. There's more and give you like that bitter taste. That's something so like you're but, meshing too much. You're but dark taking... chocolate ice cream is like normal, though, and that's the bitter with milk. Bitter, bitter with milk. Sure, go for it. Chocolate ice cream. Okay. Yeah. OK, but then that refreshing part where you're like let me incorporate that mint in it i don't think that should work i don't think that's fair i don't think that's, that's fair a to wild keep... thing it does work it does <laughs> oh my goodness gracious when's the last time you had it which i don't think i don't think, exactly. I've, had, I don't think I've had it for a while got we gotta time. go we gotta go get some now now yeah. i do want to make a distinction and moose can disagree with me on this i think there are cases where it's like peppermint and chocolate and like certain other things where it's it's like I feel like it's too much because then the focus is taken away. Peppermint's an extreme. I sort of exactly like I mean, mint. I feel like because they go you are thinking, with how it is. You're thinking like a toothpaste mint. Like yeah. mint chocolate, the mint is like really toned. Not like really they toned, toned down, down, but it's like so it's, creamy, it's like a different tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I a hundred percent. That's very true. That could be it's that like, could actually be the thing. Imagine like a creamy mint. Oh, it sounds so good. Like That's basically, it's like you focus on the creaminess of the milk and the taste, but it just has subtle note at the end of the refreshing. I, I don't think overpowering. But it's never subtle. It's always the evident mm. flavor. You've never no, had no, it. No, no. Do you have it? It is in this case. And That's what I'm saying. Maybe you had peppermint chip, like chocolate chip. I've so had the, the green thing. I have the green ice cream with chocolate chip. I'm not sure if that helps. No, but some I'm saying sometimes like it's still like you know, yeah, like like that, sometimes it is like that. Like they go extreme, and like you know they can still color it green. Like true. So it's like I think there is that that works. You you you're gonna try with mousse, and we'll try white chocolate. You know, we'll give white chocolate a chance again. White chocolate's so good. Mm hmm. Clearly, you have a really good defense with that good compared to all the things we've thrown. But yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll go. I'll leave it to the comment section to tell us. Leave, leave. They're just gonna roast both of us. Well, people who love white chocolate are gonna roast us. People who like mint chocolate chip are gonna roast you. <laughs> it's just gonna or, be, or it's gonna be completely empty because you know our channel gets banned. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, this is what it is. Too. It's too polarizing. But yeah, I think I've had what I had to say. Is there any last remarks? Or is when are you going to try mint chocolate chip ice cream? Next week. Very nice. How the, we got to go. Let's go together. I'll get some. You get some. We all get some. Okay, if we're going to go get some, where are we going to get it from? Ben and Jerry's? Uh, let's go somewhere. Oh, that's a good one. I wish. We can go isn't there somewhere Cold better? Stone? There's a few ice cream places. There's a I'm not sure if we're trying to like divulge our location. location. Yeah. Um I guess we if, can talk if it's about a chain, say the name of it, but we can talk about it after also. And I know some like some like good small places we can go. Okay. Oh, I was about to say one, but I, I don't want to say it. I think it'll it'll definitely like say location. So yeah. Okay. All right. I think we're all set for the for this week, right? Anything yeah, else? Yeah, that's. Thank you, everyone, again for joining us. Thanks a um, lot, everyone. You're you're Hopefully. the reason we can do this. Yeah, uh, your support means the world. Hopefully, no. Danamachi Jujitsu, like they get more interesting. We'll talk about yeah. them. Sweet. Okay. Let us know if See, you want yeah. to talk about other things too. Don't forget to uh, yeah, like, subscribe, that comment, like button, punch that subscribe button. But you know, <laughs> like, not like aggressively 
and hit that notification bell. Keep up. Oh yeah. Definitely hit that notification bell. All right. Bye guys. Bye.